This happened in the third round of the Bangkok Open that's going on right now in Thailand. <clears throat> and this position was shared by Grandmaster Abhimanyu Puranik on his Instagram. And he had mentioned that Black uh, played here the move Rook D6, that is Po Yu Tian uh, played this move. And it is Gustafsson's move, White to play and win. And you know, generally when a strong GM shares any position from a recent game, it is definitely worthy of attention, especially someone who's about 2600. Because if it is normal move, they wouldn't be sharing it. And so I tried to think what should white do and I would invite you to do the same. Take your time. Don't rush. Uh, black, by the way, black is winning in this position. If black had played a move like let's say bishop g3, black is completely better. White is in trouble. f2 is falling. h3 is weak and so on. But rook d6 turns out to be a mistake. But you have to be very careful uh, to find out this. So white to play. What do you do? So the first move here is the very, very nice one, uh, rook c8. And it's not so tough. You give a check to the king and you force it to move. Only one square is available, that is king g7, because if you were to play king h7, I take this with a check. Uh, and let's say you try to block it, then I go check, king here, and uh, maybe g5 check. Because if king takes, there is knight f3 check with a fork. And if king h5, I will anyway force you to g5 and then give you a check here. So that wins. So you cannot play king h7. You have to go king g7. And I hope that when you gave the check here, you had spotted this next move by white. This is the key move of this entire uh, variation. And if you haven't found it already, I would ask you to pause the video and find it white to play. Yes, the move is the very, very pretty uh, queen f4. And it's so nice to see such a move that you put the queen right in the face of the bishop and also it's attacked by the queen. Uh, first things first, you cannot take the queen because after bishop takes f4, what's the move here? White to play. Yes, the move is knight to f5, double check from the bishop and the knight and the king has to move and it's a mate. So queen f4 is a very pretty move. Uh, you can't take with the bishop. If you take with the queen, I just take back. And now if you go bishop f6, there is g5. You can't take here because of knight f5 check. So you must take. I take back. You play this. And now there are many ways to win. One is to just push the knight away and then uh, go for g5 break. The other is just play rook c7 and picking up this pawn. White is winning completely. And after queen f4, if you go for f6 move, I have takes, takes. And again, a very nice move. Uh, there are many ways again, but knight f3 wins the bishop. Because the bishop is trapped. If it goes to e5, then I just take, take. And bishop takes e5 wins the rook. And in case you go knight g3 check, then after king d3, there is no real counterplay. And white is winning. So all in all, uh, it was very important to find this two moves. It's a small sequence. Rook c8 check, king g7 and queen f4. And this totally wins the day. I hope you liked it. Uh, and please do uh, let me know in the comment section if you were able to find it. This is Sagar Shah signing off. Thanks a lot to Grandmaster Abhimanyu Purani for showing this game.